Hey guys, welcome back. So this week I'll be doing example problem relating the uh, linear dynamic stability of an aircraft, and particularly we will be talking about different modes of an aircraft motion. And so in this particular problem, you are given a matrix that describes a the longitudinal aircraft motion and you are asked to determine the eigenvalues of that matrix and named the uh, modes to the appropriate eigenvalues and then you also asked to determine the natural frequency the damping ratio the time to half amplitude of forward mode which is the long period and so, um, how are we going to approach the problem? Well, uh, if you recall the uh, very general equation of relating the uh, natural frequency and the damping ratio of the aircraft, that is uh, just a second order equation, right? Whereas these are the uh, natural frequency this will be the uh, damping ratio and um, this is the eigenvalues of the aircraft of the matrix so if you are given the this 4x4 four four matrix uh, what you're going to do uh, of course you can solve it by hand but it's going to take a lot of time so I would recommend doing it using a calculator or a computer and if you solve for the matrix so for the eigenvalues of the matrix you'll be able to find out uh, four different eigenvalues of the matrix okay. that is plus minus 1.4343i three, three and I will count it 1, 2 and 3, 4 and okay, that's gonna be One nine one zero i, and so these are the two pair of complex uh, eigenvalues that we obtain from the matrix. So which one is which? Uh, well, if you look at the problem, it said that this matrix describes the longitudinal aircraft motion, and if you recall what you have learned during class. The long in longitudinal aircraft motions only relate to two modes, short period and long period, or the full void. So which one of these is a short period and which one of these is a long period? Uh, I will answer it for, the, for you. And this is the short period mode. And this is the long period mode. Why is that? Well, if you look at the real components of each of these complex pair of eigenvalues, you can see that these is much more negative on this one. So whichever have a much more negative uh, real component is going to be the short period, and the other is going to be the long period. Why? Well, if you look at the root local plot, you can see that as you move, so this is the imaginary ASICs and this is the real ASICs and as you look at the plot in the uh, root locus, you can see that as you move more and more negative the plot is going to be uh, going down much 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 quicker or in the world the damping ratio is much higher and as you go more negative uh, it's going to reach the uh, the neutral is much more faster than the one that close to zero and this is the short period because it's uh, it just damping really fast and this take a lot of time to uh, dam out the oscillation and that's why the one with the uh, more negative real components is going to be the short period and the one with the less negative is going to be the long period and so you are asked to determine these three uh, values of the forward mode which is the long period and so for uh, 
Uh, We're going to determine the first of all the natural frequency, which is omega n, and by definition, it is just the uh, square root of square of the real eigenvalues component and the imaginary component of the eigenvalues. And so it's gonna be these two values. It's gonna be 0 0.0046 square uh, plus 0 0.01910 square. And that's gonna be turned out to be 0.1911 plus or per second. And the damping ratio going to be the real component of the eigenvalues divided by the natural frequency by definition. And that's going to be 0 0.0046 divided by what you just got right there. And that's going to turn out to be that values and time to half amplitude it's going to be by formula you learn during the class and again this is, this is the real component of the uh, eigenvalues so it's going to be 0 0.0693 divided by the absolute values of negative 0.0046 that's going to return a 150 second approximately and so if you look at the damping ratio right there you can see that uh, this is a under damped oscillation and so for under damped oscillation what will be the characteristic of this aircraft and from this uh, given values you can come to the conclusion that the aircraft is dynamically stable okay all right thanks for watching guys good luck with that